Hey everybody, Kimo Sab here, coming at you with a bonus video. This is also off of Green Media Info webpage, and with the topic of three intravenous vitamin C research studies approved for treating COVID-19 by Andrew W. Saul, editor. Intervenous vitamin C is already being employed in China against COVID-19 coronavirus. I'm receiving regular updates because I'm part of the Medical and Scientific Advisory Board to the International Intervenous Vitamin C China Epidemic Medical Support Team. Its director is Richard Z. Cheng, MD, PhD. Associate director is Hong Zhang, PhD. Among other team members are Kwai Chen, PhD. Associate professor, Kansas University Medical School. Janine Drisco, MD, professor, University of Kansas Medical School. Thomas E. Levy, MD, JD. And Atsuo Yang Nagisua, MD, PhD. Professor, Kairun University, Tokyo to read the treatment protocol information in English. There's a site there. We'll, we'll just keep going over what we have here. Direct report from China, OMNS, Chinese edition editor, Dr. Richard Chen is reporting from China about the first approved study of 12,000 to 2,400 milligrams a day of vitamin C by IV. The doctor also specifically calls for immediate use of vitamin C for prevention of coronavirus COVID-19. A second clinical trial of intravenous vitamin C was announced in China on February 13th. In this second study, says Dr. Cheng, they plan to give 6,000 milligrams a day slash 12,000 milligrams a day per day for moderate and severe cases. We're also communicating with other hospitals about starting more intravenous vitamin C clinical studies. We would like to see oral vitamin C included in these studies as the oral forms can be applied to more patients at home. Additional information here, and we have, and on February 20. First, 2020 announcement has been made of a third research trial now approved for intravenous vitamin C for COVID-19. Dr. Chen, who is a U.S. board-certified specialist in anti-aging medicine, adds vitamin C is very promising for prevention and especially important to treat dying patients when there is no better treatment. Over 2,000 people have died of the COVID-19 outbreak, and yet I have not seen or heard large dose intravenous vitamin C being used in any of the cases. The current sole focus on vaccine and specific antiviral drugs for epidemics is misplaced. He adds that early and significantly large doses of intravenous vitamin C are critical. Vitamin C is not only a prototypical antioxidant, but also involved in virus killing and prevention of viral replication. The significance of large doses of intravenous vitamin C is not just at antiviral level. It is acute respiratory distress syndrome. ARDS that kills most people from coronal viral pandemics, SARS, MERS, and now NCP. ARDS is a common final pathway leading to death. We therefore call for a worldwide discussion of debate on this topic. News of vitamin C research for COVID-19 is being actively suppressed. Anyone saying that vitamin therapy can stop coronavirus is already being labeled as promoting false information and promulgating fake news. Even though sharing the sharing of the verifiable news and direct quotes from credential medical professors is being restricted or blocked on social media. You can see indeed the World Health Organization who who has literally met with Google and Facebook and other media giants to stop the spread of what they declare to be wrong information. Facebook, Amazon, Google, and more met with who to figure out how to stop coronavirus misinformation. Physician-directed hospital-based administration of intravenous vitamin C has been marginalized or discredited. Scientific debate over COVID-19 appears to not be allowed. Ironically, Facebook blocking any significant users sharing the news of approved vitamin C therapy research is itself blocked in China by the Chinese government. As for the internet, yes, China has it. And yes, it is censored, but significantly the Chinese government has not blocked this real news on how intravenous vitamin C will save lives in the COVID-19 epidemic. Here is the protocol as published in, um, in Chinese uh, and medical unorthodoxy, obsessive 
effectiveness focuses on searching for a vaccine and or drug for coronavirus COVID-19. While they're looking for what would be fabulously profitable approaches, we have with vitamin C an existing plausible clinically demonstrated method to treat what coronavirus patients die from, severe acute respiratory syndrome or pneumonia. And it is available right now. So hopefully you enjoyed that, everybody. And uh, leave me some comments. Great if you subscribed. And there's a little side note from where I get some of these sent to me from a buddy. And uh, his little side note is there's been a massive censorship campaign throughout the West, not only regarding accurate war and foreign events reporting, but also regarding the most critical health issues of our times. The Western informational environment regarding to coronavirus outbreak that was first reported in China provides a good example of just how much distortion, manipulation, and downright inaccurate propaganda, political and pharma induced, is being rammed down our collective throats. Valid, assimilable forms of vitamin C and not vaccines are working to quash the virus in China, but this it, info is suppressed in the West so that pharma gangsters can make a killing in profit and human lives wise. But the issue goes so much deeper to the core of allopathic germ disease theory, the most recent rigorous scientific and independent from pharma influence slash findings studies reveal an entirely different ecology oriented paradigm the microbiome concept that exposes the dangerous shortcomings of modern germ theory the nazis as he calls them don't want you to be healthy because there is too much money and power over people to be made from a continual cycle of sickness through pharma managed health regimes and death from violence and war as well It'd be great if you subscribe, of course. Kimosabi here. We'll see you in the next one, everybody. Thanks a lot. Bye.